Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Nina. I'm from Helsinki, Finland, and this is where I talk about my knitting. Happy New Year 2023. I fear that that my sound echoes. I hope that's not too bad. Okay. Weather report. Finland, Helsinki today. Bright, beautiful winter's day and it's sunny so good it is 6th of january where i'm recording and yeah i'm wearing sweater that is loosely based on anna johanna's budding pattern i cannot remember my yarns but they are something stop bell wall something i have weird urge to um, recycle everything i think it's good also i i would like to recycle my whole apartment about <laughs> all my belongings and i've been eyeing some of my knits that do i wear them are they what I wanted them to be and I might be unraveling something and today when I <laughs> wore this oh my goodness I just realized I cannot I cannot I cannot unravel this because I've sticked it open okay <laughs> okay yeah I found out that it rises up maybe a little bit maybe not too it's not too bad, but I have to see if that's a problem or not. And if it's a problem, I have to fix it somehow. But yes, I cannot unravel this. You should be careful what you stick. Anyway, like it anyway, I love the colors. And I'm drinking coffee today. The mug is from um, Estonia. I bought it uh, December last year when we were there with my three girlfriends celebrating my friend's 14th, 40th, how do you say, 40th, oh my god, she had a birthday and we were there and I found a mug, uh, I think someone has made it by hand there is a name at the bottom i put it in the screen and yeah it's it's just like a mug for me i'm going to talk about my needs then i talk about plans for the year and stuff like that and then i'm also going to talk a little bit about finnish chains Ooh also probably you know but here's a little youtube trick or thing that you can do i know i talk a little bit slowly maybe this is not my my first language so when you go to the settings or to the little round thingy there should be something like speed or so then you click that and you get list. You can have normal or you can pace it up or down. And it goes in quarter, like 1.25 times faster, 1.50 times faster and so on. So maybe you can put me to speak a little bit faster if that's something, <laughs> something that would help you. I don't know. I don't know. But I know it's a little bit slow sometimes. I don't use that too much, but sometimes I do. And yeah, sometimes I do. And some people, native English speakers speak so extremely fast that I have to pace them down, really. But they talk really fast. Not everyone. Usually I can listen with the normal uh, speed, but Anyway, random little team. But let's start with the knitting. At the end of the year, 
I wanted to finish everything and I I did it. I did it. Here's the shawl or scarf. I draw a picture and then started to <laughs> create and and it's done and I've even worn it already so it's a bit wrinkly. <laughs> I had this plan or challenge to walk or run or bike or swim all my knitted meters at the end of the year and I at the end I walked them and I was wearing this and it was the rainiest well not rainiest but really really rainy um, day when I walked so due to that this seems to be a bit prickly but however it is done the yarn is Finnish yarn dyer Hando and her color I'm not sure what the colors are but it's single plied 100% merino wool called Ilum Sinku warm recommendations I really love the uh, the way she dyes her yarn they I mean it's it's pretty also i'm otherwise quite happy with my my uh, happy go lucky <laughs> scarf pattern or plan but here's something i'm not happy with or i might i might take out a bit of the i cord edge and i mean here this is not something i planned i wanted that line to be um, straight so now now how can i show it i yeah there's something something that's not working like i was planning it's not a huge problem but it changes the look a little bit in my opinion well you definitely cannot see it when you wear it but yes anyway anyway but nice scarf warm and soft not itchy at all and yeah. Also, surprising to me, here I have these stripes. I guess I have to take it up <laughs> to show. Yes, this part. It is garter stitch, so I've knitted back and forth. And I've knitted like back and forth with one color, then change and back and forth with one color. And it creates these stripes. And when you look at this part from distance, it looks really mushed. These two colors just, you cannot actually see the stripes. You can see them in, uh, in person, I think. It doesn't mush here, but especially in a camera it they go i show you they mix up but there are actual stripes <laughs> however it is done it is already been in use and it's going to be in use and Good for me getting it done. <clears throat> then I had my, yeah, this is something I, I don't like. I think clothes should stay where they are supposed to stay. You shouldn't have to maneuver them. So, so, well, let's see. Let's see. 
What do I say? Yes. I, yes, I made cumulus tea at the summer 2022 and I did it a bit too short and also the end of the hem was curling up a little bit so and I had the yarn so I decided to change it into a dress and I had the hem going and it was my last project of the year. 2022 and here it is okay there is a yarn and cat hair such a nice thing and you can see where I picked the stitches so I might have to add some some detail there and also I have not finished the hem in any way so it's probably going to curl and this is blocked but but still you can see this section and also the hem is curling but I'm not sure if that's a problem I should wear it and see how I like it but also since it's um, Oh, well, I wouldn't say it's a see-through. Mm -hmm. But I'm thinking I might add some sort of uh, coverage under the dress. But I'm not sure yet. But here it is. Here it is. And I think it looks <laughs> really modest like this. But when it's on, it looks really cute and nice. And yes, I want to make some detail here, some black bottom thingy. And I might add some, um, I guess, just fabric under the hem so that it stays straight. But to, I count this as a finished object since the knitting part is done and it's going to be summer team anyway so I have time to uh, do the last details but it's done this yarn is I think yarn the garn number something hundred percent cotton come to cotton it's really soft yeah it's going to be on the screen but yeah yes and the original t-shirt pattern is petit knit cumulus tea but i i um, changed that a little bit also i think i took in a little bit here from the sides and the sleeves are not as long as in the original but yes it's done then i mentioned that i want to start a dbs sky i've been calling it dbs sky but i wonder if it's dbs key since i think the name is polish or i should check anyway the shirt from don't look up movie that Jennifer Lawrence's character uh, first name Dibieski wears I think however it's so much easier if you just write things and you don't have to pronounce them I started it and yes I dyed the yarn the brown yarn and bought this pink and just black yarn I have no idea it's going to be on the screen I think it was Viking yarn 100% wool non superwash yes and it's really soft and not uh, prickly I hope it will last forever because oh
This makes me wonder why I haven't knitted more color work sweaters. Well, I just knitted one for my brother, but anyway, the cat hair. The cat. I hope you can see it from the from this distance. I think in the original one, there is some fluff, yeah, some fluffy element with the yarn or in the yarn. I didn't took that because, well, I just didn't. But I think in the original one, the pattern doesn't show this like uh, straight or sharp. It's a bit more kind of subtle but because the uh, contrast is so high you can really see where the pattern goes yeah but if i make another one of these which is very likely maybe i try the fluff thing with the mohair or something Mm, yes, this is all oh, this hair. Oh god. Um, yeah, this is free pattern in Ravelry. I will link that in the description. And I am almost done with the yoke, and I'm soon going to be separating for sleeves. I'm going to show <laughs> you the cat hair. I think it's going to be magnificent. Also, I messed up a little bit with the um, well, with the stars or with the short rows. I think I did one extra row and also I placed them pretty much to the back when you should have they should have come all like somewhere from till here and my short rows end somewhere here if this makes sense to you so okay let's see i will have to check when when i've separated the sleeves of how it actually sits on my shoulders but i'll try to mimic the thing it is possible that I don't have enough cable that it stays uh, well probably not this bad but something like this might happen and it's not good so it's possible that i'll take stitches back to the needle somewhere here and need the uh, start again what kind of like backwards or Anyway, let's see. I hope I don't have to do that, but it's not too bad if I have to. <sighs> yes, and when I realized that, I was too far away and I didn't want to go back, so... Yeah. All the cat hair. Anyway... Uh, yes, and... I'm knitting this with 4.5 millimeter needles. I I should check my gauge actually, but I think it is it is at least really close. No, it's not close. Well, yes, it's close to the uh, what the pattern calls for, but not exactly. So I think I took a smaller size i have less stitches than i should so okay oh boy i think so so it should be fine i would like to knit nothing but this well i don't have any other whips so works in progress so i guess i can knit this in general this year i would like to knit more I don't know if I only want to knit cool stuff. 
if that makes sense. Like I want to feel, I want this feeling from all of my knits. I know I'm, I am a mixture of process knitter and progress knitter, and sometimes I'm really, really the process knitter kicks in and I just need something to knit. So I think I have to have some emergency sock or something that I can knit in between projects. So that I need something that I actually need when I'm planning a bigger project. Something like this. I try to avoid just casting on. Yeah, it's a process. Okay. Yeah, so last year I had my personal challenge to um, bike or actually run my knitted meters. Well, there was no way I was going to run them. I actually fixed my bike to uh, bike them, but then I ended up walking my meters because I thought I really have to do something otherwise I would feel miserable. <laughs> so I walked my meters. It was in total 16, uh, 16, wait, yeah, 16,901 meter, I think. Yes, and I walked them. There is going to be a separate video about that. I managed to do that good for me. I am taking the challenge again. I hope I can run it this year, but let's see. Yes, also I am um, going to make video about all my needs last year. And also I thought, at least I'm going to try to make maybe even weekly video vlog kind of thing about sports this is terrible it's not knitting <laughs> but i really want to do something for my self oh that sounds bad i want to fix my I have to do some sports, really. So I, I thought maybe that motivates me. Maybe I try some, some new stuff. And yeah, I would really want to start running again. I have some weird health problems. I have a little bit of knee pain that occurred also when walking. Well, I walked quite a lot, that 16 kilometers and some. And also I have back pain, which is weird. So I hope it won't turn into some kind of medical journal, but anyway, I'll, I'll try. That's something that is coming just for YouTube only. Then let's talk about Finnish sayings. I'm also going to add that I'm going to load these Finnish culture slash history uh, clips or videos into their own view to my YouTube channel. So they are going to be part of these vlogs, but there are separate videos of all of them. There's not too many yet, but anyway, just for you to know, it's exactly the same stuff that I talk here, but I just put it there. Okay, let's talk about Finnish sayings. Okay, I have my notes. Okay, the first one is Eteenpäin sano mummolumesta. Ahead said granny in the snow. It basically means even if you have difficulties, just go forwards. And it's surprisingly common saying, I'd say. Okay, the next one. Uh, nosta kissa pöydälle. Or nostetaan kissa pöydälle. Let's leave the cat onto the table. 
it means bringing up a difficult subject or talking about something that in general people don't want to talk about or some uh, yeah some difficult issue then you lift the cat under the table then kyllä routa porsaan kotiin ajaa ground frost hurts the big let home or ground frost brings the big let home that means that um, the runaway person will come back when the difficulties start. Yeah, that's about it. <laughs> but I picked this because there is ground frost and I was so... <laughs> talking about that during my Finnish independence um, day, so... Ground frost. Okay, then. Jos viina, terva ja sauna ei auta, tauti on kuolemaksi. If booze, tar or sauna won't help, it's lethal. Or the sickness is lethal. Yeah, I think that's pretty straightforward. I think there is a hint of Finnish stubbornness there also. Like doctors know nothing. If sauna won't help, then I don't care. <laughs> because sauna is a, like, almost a sacred thing or something. Or, or, well, not something. It is, well, I guess it's a little bit too much to say it's a sacred, but it's close to sacred thing in Finland. It's really important to many people. And then, the last one is ensimmäinen päivä on pahin hirressäkin. First day is the worst, in the gallows also. Or in the gallows as well. Yeah, I suppose. Yeah, I suppose that's uh, straightforward also. First day is the worst. Okay, I think I'm going to wrap this up. Thanks for watching. Um, I'll be putting up some videos about my that sporting, about making that stripy uh, mm, scarf, and at some point about uh, all my knits. And yes, that crazy walking thing. And I'll be vlogging in a few weeks time but uh, once again thanks for watching and hope to see you soon bye